Hi friends, Dan here with DSM Woodwork and Art in Portage, Michigan. In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, receipt tracker using Google Forms and then getting it onto your phone to create a mobile app. So you need to be signed into your Google account and I'm going to open up my Google Drive. Now you can see in my quick access that I've already made a receipt tracker. Um, so let's look, let's look at that and see what it looks like. All right, so this is uh, what mine looks like. It's Receipt Tracker 2018. Some things that I included to keep track of would be place of business. Um, so I know where I purchased items. I had my typical places I go, like Home Depot, sometimes Lowe's, sometimes Menards. Ellen Boss is a local um, millwork and trim supplier that I get a lot of my poplar from. Amazon, Woodcraft, uh, Johnson's Workbench, some other places around and a spot for other. And then I have materials cost, tools cost, inventory cost, and supply cost. Now when I go to do my taxes with our accountant, he has me break it down in columns based on if it's material, tools, inventory, or supplies. Um, and then We'll figure out what the total was with tax. You know, what is our form of payment? Did you do cash, business check, business debit, um, and other Menards does the rebate certificates. Um, occasionally, if you have, uh, if you're starting out and you're using some personal funds, you might have a personal check or debit there. And then a summary of the purchase, like, you know, what was the purchase for? Uh, and then a photo of the receipt. Google Forms allows you to add files now in the form with your submission. So you can create a photo or take a photo of your receipt and then you have a digital uh, representation of that. If I go to my responses and click on the spreadsheet to view my responses, we will see that there's going to be a timestamp here. And then each of the items that I put input into the form show up in the, the uh, Google Sheet here. <clears throat> so we've got place of business, materials, all of that will be here. You'll notice, um, maybe not, let's see, materials. Nope, I don't want to move that. Material, tool, inventory, supply, total with tax. I want to make sure that that is going to be formatted as currency with a dollar sign. So if I put in 56 bucks, maybe 35 cents for materials we see it ends up with the dollar sign which is helpful all right so how do we go about making this I'm gonna close out of this and go here we're gonna to go to new more Google Forms arrow and then blank form so untitled form let's give it a title like receipt tracker whoop wrong place. I'm using a different keyboard than I'm used to, so things are not in the right place. Receipt Tracker 2018. I go up to Untitled Form, and then it's there. That's the name of the file. So for our question, we have a multiple choice, like place of business. And this is where you can put a lot of the places that you go to. You could do short answer text where you type it in each time, but I thought if there's a store you frequent, it might be easier to have it be multiple choice so you're not spending the time typing it. Um, especially too, when we go back to our spreadsheet, if you put in Home Depot in a different way every time, then it's gonna be hard to pull them all together if you wanna see how much did you spend in total at Home Depot over the year. I don't know if you want to, but you could. So we're going to switch to multiple choice. Option one, put the places you go to, Home Depot, Acme Tools, uh, Menards, Woodcraft, and then we'll do an other. Okay, so there's an option for another. We can make this required. And then we'll add a question. Now for this one, this is on my Spreadsheet is the different cost columns broken down. So we can do materials, 
and it's going to be a short answer. If I go to the three dots here, I can say description, so that way we can remember that it's going to be a cost. Uh, I'm not making this one required because not every uh, trip I go on or, or every expense is going to be material, so we won't have that be required. So we have materials, and then we have uh, what was it? tools. Short answer, description, cost, etc. And so we can keep on going, and that will, you know, we can keep adding the different parts. Now I want to show you how do we add the photo of the receipt. Um, so where we click the multiple choice, there's an option for file upload. And it says uh, we can upload files to Drive. Files will be uploaded to the form owner's Google Drive. You have to be signed into Google when you do it, but usually you are in your device. So we continue. And then the question might be um, photo of receipt. Now, if you are uploading the sales for an online uh, expense that you did, you can access the form from uh, your Google Drive on your desktop or laptop and put them in that way. And then if you have a uh, photo of the receipt, just keep track of that. You don't necessarily have to put it in, but you could as long as it's on your computer already. This says allow specific file types. We'll just leave that general. Max number of files, we can leave it one or five um, and so on. And then it has max file size. Okay, maybe 100 megabyte. All right, and so that is how we go about creating the form. When we go to responses, we can click on create the spreadsheet. I'm going to put a two here just so I know it's different from my other one. I'm going to do that over here too. All right, so the spreadsheet comes up. And of course, I've got my timestamp, which is going to give us the date and time that we're putting it in. As long as you do it on the same day as your purchase, then we should be good. It should be an accurate representation. And so we've got everything we need. Remember, materials and tools are cost, so we want those to be dollar signs. That's already there. Um, so you should be good to go. Next, I'm going to show you how to set it up on your mobile device to be a mobile app. To create a mobile app, we're going to open up Google Drive from our main screen and then locate the receipt tracker Google Form that we've created. Once it's up, we're going to hit the arrow paper airplane looking button, choose the link, we copy the link, and we paste it in the URL bar up above. Now we have the Google Form in a usable manner. We see if we click on Add File that we have an option to upload, and so if you take a picture, you can upload from there. We're going to hit the three dots on the top right and choose Add to Home Screen. You can change the title if you'd like there, and it's going to end up far away on your home screen. I just clicked and dragged it over to my home screen in the front. And now when we click on it, it should open up and be the mobile app that we've made. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what I did in this video, please like it and hit subscribe. Or as my students like to say, smash that subscribe button. You should also check out my website and buy something. My family and I would appreciate it. Take care now.